What is up internet? It's your boy Tinku and today we're going to be talking about kind of a two subject thing that has to do with each other to intertwine. Before we get started don't forget to like those videos, watch those videos, sub to the channel guys, you know comment down below. Let's go ahead and get started. So Funimation and Crunchyroll are going to merge finally. That finally went through, it's going to happen. They're both trash companies so it doesn't matter to me, they don't get my money. One because Funimation is known for deceptively editing things and putting politics in the anime and trying to curb it for western audiences which no, no real anime fan wants so they change some of their subtitle meanings and the voice actress most of the voice actress and actresses they employ are terrible people to begin with so they're just garbage plus because of Funimation I can't get my complete collection of the Tenshi Muyo OVA Rio Oki which I've been wanting to try to get for a long time and because I can't get it from them I have to go to other means to get it I mean I have it but I want the official stuff and I can't get it so screw them and country rolls are just a bunch of liars they went to a subscription model because they said we're gonna give take this money or we're gonna give it to the manga code we're gonna give it to the anime people that actually do this stuff to support them because they don't get paid very much pen unfortunately and what do they do they go they take all that money and they're gonna come out with anime originals which brings us to the next subject high guardian spice now this show is gonna be trash i don't care what you say it's not anime anything that's not produced in japan is not anime. Now, I don't care where they animate it, but it has to be written by a mangaka in Japan and produced in Japan. They can go wherever they want to animate it and all that good stuff. But if it's not anime and it's not manga, unless it comes from Japan. High Guardian Spice was this Western, oh, we're gonna make anime, da da da. And I was like, you know, whatever, fine. If you wanna make that, I don't give you my money. That's on the people that give you money. But it's just, it's garbage it's trash if you look at it when it very 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 first came out before they buried it like a year or two ago when it came out it wasn't well oh here's what the show's about it's we have all women in the writing room and we're gonna be diversity and inclusive even though we don't have any diversity or inclusiveness in our thing it's all women and women power and women's and this that blah blah i'm like you guys want to talk about the damn show and the backlash from it was so intense that they had they, they buried it for two years a year or whatever and now that they merged with sony and everything that they're finally releasing it, and they release a trailer and it's some wannabe little witch academia and it looks like Steven Universe and I'm sorry if you like Steven Universe that's fine but Steven Universe is western garbage as well it wasn't a good show there was a lot of animation from the west that I loved from back in the day but Steven Universe isn't one of them I dated a girl that loved Steven Universe and I was like that's cool you like it and I'd watch it with her because she wanted to watch it but I didn't like it I thought it was I mean I didn't tell her that because I don't want to get in trouble but it was garbage and with Little Witch Academia or not Little Witch Academia but High Guardian Spice is gonna be trash as well first of all it's written by uh, female writers that's very diverse so it's gonna be garbage writing from westerners all right they showed all the people that were in the writing room i didn't see a single japanese person among them so it's not anime it's not manga it's trash webtoons stuff that they just pulled out of obscurity to try to make and it's gonna be garbage i saw the trailer of course the trailers getting downvoted the animation it looks okay they're, they're doing their best to try to make it look anime-ish but again it's not anime it's gonna be garbage so with the merger of funimation and crunchyroll just expect more censorship from them because that's what they do even though that's not why people like anime people like anime people like manga because of the freedom because of the variety you get you know if you want etchy you get etchy if you want harem you get harem you want school life you get school life if you want slice life you get slice life you know what i mean you want romance you get romance you want yuri and yaoi you get that too that's why people like these stories that's why people want anime and manga uncensored unfiltered from japan because that's you know you get the whole story you get the whole contest and they're passionate people see that and that's why they get drawn to it we have some hope though because i think it was one of the major publishers over in japan decided that they're gonna simultaneously publish which means that they're are gonna do all the translating themselves and then release it out here they show the list and i read quite a few of those mangas on there and of course i'm gonna buy them now because they're gonna release them over here simultaneously with chapters and it doesn't give me a reason to go to certain sites anymore to read it when i'm gonna get it from them official from them without being censored without being changed so i'm gonna be able to support them like i want to so there is a little bit of hope with all that said guys tell me what you guys think you guys think i'm crazy you think high garden sparse is gonna be okay don't call it anime because you're never gonna get me to agree to that you know comment down below on the twitter facebook instagram remember crunchyroll Funimation is both hot garbage and they don't deserve to exist. High Garden Spice is not anime and anything produced in the West is not anime. I don't care what Netflix tells you, it's not anime. And if you can't trust on a fat guy you met on the internet, then who can you trust? And everybody have an awesome, awesome day.